Critical graphic skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. Yeah, good day guys. Uh, welcome back to the cool graphic design training. Here we have on our PC lab. Uh, today I want to show us how we can mix, uh, make an amazing logo on our Android smartphone using our PC lab. So it's something like a piano logo. So very unique and fantastic. So without wasting much of our time, let's start. The first thing we are going to do to determine our size, so the size I'm going to use is, uh, this is a custom size, and that is square size, that is 1024 by 1024. Now I'm going to the shape, then I will make my radius to be something like uh, 23, as you can see. I don't want anything to disrupt, so I'm going to switch up the network. So now that I have this, I have to position it to the center, as you can see. So it will be around here. So I will position it here. I'm going to cut it out. So there won't be any disturbance. So it will be like this. So now that I have it, I will position it to the center. Then I will go to the color, give it a different color. Let's say black. So I will tap empty area and go here. So when, it, when, I'm, when I'm here, I will target the edge here. So I'm going to cut it out. It shouldn't be too long. So let me cut out from here. I think it's okay like this. So now as it is, I'm going to cut out this exact place. So I'm going to merge it together. Merge it. Then go to the erase color, and then you cut it. Now we have cut, succeeded in cutting the two at the same time. So now the trick there, what we're going to do next, we are going here, selecting another shape, and this one will be long this time around. Just click it, position this here. Just use your relative position. So after position it here, then you come here and uh, join this together with it. So you can, we can allow it to be longer than this if we want, but it's okay like this. So now that we have it exactly like this, the next thing that we are going to do, we need to do the cutting. So you can see. So now I'm going back to the shape and I uh, have 23 as well so once I have it this way I have to make sure that uh, it's been reduced and then it shouldn't be more than 23 it shouldn't be more than but the mouse should be bigger enough so let's see so I'm going to position it just bring it up around here so let it be around here. So it should just come out a bit. So it has to be shaken very well. So let's say something like of this nature. So the mouth is, I want the mouth to increase the mouth a bit. So it's absolutely okay now. So now that we have this, we can reduce this a little bit. Since the head always big. So we position, we are going to reposition this. So let's reposition. So this is here, fine. So now the top, we don't need to be touching it again so that our hand will not be affecting it. So we have this, let it calm down. And if possible, we are going to adjust by ourselves to make it cool. So what we are going to do, we tap on these uh, shapes. After tapping on it, just use your mask then we are going to enable the movie to cut out this particular place to make it uh, look right as you can see just cut it out then we click ok then you can actually see that uh, it's not uh, disturbing anymore then move this back 
now we have everything being put in place now the question is uh, we don't want it to be too uh, like this so i can bring this down then move it in then i will adjust so exactly like this let me adjust more i think it's okay like this so and i can this is area where you need to work it has to work it has to cough the way we want it so it shouldn't be manipulated so and the hair shouldn't be too much yeah i think it's okay like this so now we can reduce then bring it down here So you use your hand to adjust them very well. So better still, let do let do it this way. Let me select. We have something like thirty five. Then we are going to readjust. Then it's okay like this. So very good. It's okay like this. The way we have it. And the mouth is absolutely calf. So we, we can still go there and then increase. Something like this. So now that uh, we have this, at the end of the day, everything is uh, actually plumb. So we have, uh, we have to lock them one after the other. Then tap on this. So let's tap on it. Mm, we have uh, we have to use shape at this juncture. So we need to position this here. After that, we we'll go to our mask. We have our mask being shaped here. So let have our, our mask being shaped. We are going to cut out this. Let's have it exactly like this. Move it down a bit. Then we will have something like this. So now, after that, enable. Click out. You can see. Click OK. Now we have this. So now that we have it, we can reduce the size. Exactly and position it here. As you can see. So we'll go here, copy, then position it here too. As you can see we have to so the next thing we are going to do we are not doing that we are going to use our bezier so go to the bezier then you just join the two join the two as you can see click the bezier mode so now just readjust here just readjust very simple readjust it exactly like this just take the hand exactly like this now go to the opacity increase to 100 and reduce the stroke to be zero so now we've achieved that so the next thing is to reduce the size and move it to this corner so you can see move it to this corner so now that we have it being shaped here you can actually see what i'm doing so we have it being fixed here you can see so the next thing we are going to do we need to do total work here so we need to cut out three so and the shape must be the same so we have we will have this being move so we have this being move exactly like this to this area so it has to move to this area so now we are going to copy after copy so we are going to bring it down exactly like this just bring it down bring it down so let it come up so it must rhyme then after we have this this one is just a tiny one so we are going to copy then we we'll position it as well and move it to be at the center then we we'll bring it down bring it down as you can see 
then we can use our grid to check whether we follow everything are in line then you can actually see that uh, the three are in line but the question is are they really uniform so i discovered they are not uniform so i have to shift it twice or shift it once so let's look at it So now that we have it this way, then we are going to back to our shapes. So we are going to crop up the shape like this. So after that, we reduce it. We, we crop it to a minimal level. Then we are going to position it to the center of each, each of this uh, line that we, the shape that we just paste. So we make sure that everything is in the center. Exactly like this. Copy. So let it just everything let it be uniform and let it be at the center. So now that we have them at the center, so the rest are so simple. We are going to make everything together. But don't forget, we haven't give a color to this, otherwise everything will just disappear. Give it black. Go here, give it black. All this give them black no we still have uh, all this much more shape so we are giving it black Then we can go ahead and match everything. After matching them, then we go to erase color and erase everything. Then you can see what we actually achieved. So now that we have this, so the next thing we are going to do, we are going to give it different color now. So we go to our color and we apply this. So now to make this really look real, so we are going to give a black color to this shape. Then we are going to position it here. So we bring it and position it here. Very good. Then you can actually see how it work. So fine. So the next thing we are going to do, we do a kind of adjustment to this. We are going to color. Then we do a kind of adjustment by moving this down or move it down like this. So we look at it. Very cool. So now that we have it that way, we have it being merged together. Then we come here. As you can see, we come here. Then we go to the text area and uh, we type giraffe. Let's say giraffe. Giraffe piano. Then we look at we look for better font that will actually go with it. So I'm thinking of a ventica, a ventica font or bodoni. So let's look at bodoni. Can this work? No. Let's search for more. What about Geran? No, can't work. So I think Ventica will be able to go with it, or Budon can't work. What about Outfit? 
the outfit work I think the outfit should be able to work then if it work then we can do a kind of adjustment by changing them so this will just go with the outfit so let's have it this way I think it's actually plumb this way so we have it at the bottom like this and there should be a bigger space in between in between the uh, the alphabet so we have it being reduced position to the center sorry very good then you can actually see the result now that we've merged this we can try to position it to the center and see so we can still adjust it then now we have this this is the result and this is exactly how you can make a any kind of a piano if you have a client giving you work and you are into this kind of an instrument you can actually make a very unique piano on your android smartphone using your pc lab i actually make this to show it to people that uh, we can use our shape on pc lab we can use it to do whatever we actually want depend on how creative we are and as you can see here i am uh, i'm able to achieve what I've already draw out. I drew this already and I've thought about it before I could be able to bring it out. So I believe we're getting something and this helped a lot. Thank you for watching and God bless us.